Don Mazzella here, and I'm excited because uh, as I've grown older in life, it's uh, getting lids off of cans and bottles has been a real problem. And when I heard about this product, I couldn't believe it, but apparently it works. And I wanted to have the, the inventor uh, on on my show so we, we could see it and we can find out where it's been um, produced and, uh, and a lot more. So Brandon Bach, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Well, we're excited too. As we ask all our guests, first, tell us a little bit about yourself personally, then about your company and how you got to, to uh, creating this product. And we're going to show the product later on. And then finally, wh where people can learn more. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so again, my name is Brandon Bach. I'm the president here at Consumer Convenience Technologies, or CCT, uh, the makers of the Easy Lid. Uh, now, a little bit about me. Uh, I graduated from Otterbein University, located in Columbus, Ohio, uh, where I received my Bachelor of Arts degree in communication and minored in business. Um, from there, I, I worked roughly 20 years uh, in the live events or staging world uh, in the video production. So we had set up all the equipment for the live events, the cameras, the, uh, the, the projectors, uh, those sorts of things, as well as work, uh, working as a project manager, uh, working with graphic building and, and those sorts of things. Um, so when I came to work here at CCT, I brought my video background knowledge with me. Uh, when I started working with the two co-founders, uh, James Bach and, and Pete Stodd, we were in the research and development phase at that time. Uh, and I was able to bring my video background uh, into the company and what and help translate uh, some of our testing that we were doing, whether that was with our scoring technology or the tools that we were using uh, and those sorts of things. I was able to take the video down, slow it down into slow-mo so we could actually see what's happening when we apply certain pressures in certain areas uh, and those sorts of things. Uh, I've been with the company now uh, for a little over five years. Uh, we just actually completed our technology center this past December. Uh, we spent eight years uh, in research and development, uh, and, and, and you know, people ask, like, why? Wow, why so long? Well, when we initially started this project, um, you know, all, all the lids on the market today, or the majority of them are made out of tin, plate, or steel. So, and how this idea actually came about uh, was because of, obviously, the Haruto opening jars. Uh, one of the co-founders, Pete Stodd, who's also in the beer and beverage industry, uh, he was at a, a work function and one of his associate's wives come up to him. Uh, she was actually dealing with uh, cancer treatments and going through the, the procedures of, of battling cancer. And she said that it left her very weak uh, uh, in, in order to try to twist open and remove that jar lid. So she posed the question to Pete and said, why can't you make an easier opening jar lid? So that's when he joined uh, forces with uh, Jim, Jim Bach. And uh, from that point on, uh, we've been trying to answer that age old question, which uh, we finally have uh, answered that uh, uh, question or problem on, you know, how do you open those hard to open jars? Um, and again, uh, like you were uh, saying about our product. So what we've developed here is the easy lid. Here's just a couple different versions. It comes in uh, an array of colors uh, uh, that you might have on, on your jars today. And what we've done is the easy lid, if you want the, um, the technical term for it, uh, you know, what we define the easy lid as, it's a software design technology that reduces the vacuum setting, making it up to 50% easier to, to open. So uh, like I was just showing you, so what that means is we've actually developed a button technology that's been placed in the center of the lid. So the consumer will simply use your thumb press on the button and it will vent and release the vacuum, making it up to 50% easier to open. Uh, I do have a couple jars here I'd like to show and go over with on how do you-, well, how well, you Hold on a open. second, yeah. hold on a second. We're gonna to get to that. Okay. First, well, now, first, now tell us your website. Oh yeah, uh, absolutely. So our website is easylid.com and that's spelled E-E-A-S-Y-L-I-D.com. Okay, now um, before we go, um, uh, are your lids made of tin, steel, or plastic? Uh, actually, the easy lid is made out of aluminum. 
Uh, when we first started uh, started this venture, we were trying to add our technology to uh, uh, to the lid that was already in the market, ten plate. Uh, and, and and Jim and Pete uh, spent over eight years in the research and development of that, uh, trying to over overcome issues of corrosion uh, and you know adding score repairs and plastisols to help stop that by us creating uh, the bins and the scores within the lid. We actually tried over forty different tooling combinations to try and accomplish this in the steel lid. Uh, and at that point, we had to make a tough decision on whether to keep trying to make it work on the tin plate, which was making our production line two and three times as big as it currently is, or do we go and, and make our lid out of aluminum and now try and change the industry uh, to start adopting and using our, our easy open lid? Well, that brings up the next question. Is your lid more expensive or less expensive than uh, its competitor? Uh, and that is a great question. Uh, the Easy Lid being a premium product, it will be a few pennies higher than your standard closure on the market today. But you ask, why is that? One of the things that we feel with the Easy Lid, it is our brand, and it it is here to help people open those jar or stubborn or hard to open jar lids. So we understand that educating the consumer is very important on how to not only operate it, uh, but but then to inform the consumers that. Uh, there is an easier open product on the market today. So if a company or a brand decides to use the easy lid, what comes with the easy lid is a PR plan that we will go into those key segment areas or markets that the brand or company uh, is selling their product in uh, uh, with a PR plan to help educate the consumers on how to operate and open, uh, open the easy lid. Well, uh, is your product available on any products, on uh, uh, any consumer products now? Uh, actually, uh, later on this year, like I said, we just commercialized our, our production line uh, here in Dayton, Ohio, uh, this past December. And later this year, uh, in September, we will be going into 19 stores, uh, uh, Boyer's Grocery Stores located in the Pennsylvania uh, market, uh, where we'll be doing a live test for 16 weeks. At the same time, we will, we will be launching later this year, uh, hope November, December, with a product based out of New York, uh, and that product is in over 300 grocery stores. Um, so there will be two, two places where you can uh, purchase and try the Easy Lid uh, as we continue moving it out into the public and into the market. Uh, we just actually attended uh, two uh, uh, conventions. Uh, one, PLMA, the Private Label Manufacturers Association, uh, was their uh, world convention in Amsterdam, Netherlands, uh, a few weeks ago. So we introduced the lid and the technology there, and 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 overwhelmingly, uh, the response was uh, a, a great uh, about the the benefits that the Easy Lid brings. Uh, in addition to that, we were just up in New York last week at the Fancy Food Show, uh, where we also unveiled uh, the Easy Lid, and again, uh, you know, outstanding uh, results. You know, people really saw the benefits of it. Uh, so now it's just continuing those conversations and, and moving forward uh, to get this uh, on, on as many uh, products out there as we can to help benefit uh, those that need a little extra help. Uh, you know, and to talk about that real quick, you know, through our research, what we have found is that there is 19% of the population that has some sort of disability, whether it's carpal tunnel, arthritis, you know, whatever that might be. All day. Yeah, and on top of that, there's 15% of the population that's 65 and older, and that number is growing uh, higher and higher each year. I just saw a staggering stat that said one in seven Americans is over the age of 75. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that, that it was actually that high. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so when you put those two numbers together, I mean, that's 35% of the population, which represents over 100 million uh, people or consumers in the U.S. that could benefit from a, a lid like this. And on top of that, we've actually found that there's another 15% of the population that just struggles. So nearly half of the population struggles, you know, or, or trying to use, whether they run the, the, the jar under hot water or they're banging it on the table or whatever uh, they're trying to use to open that jar lid, why not give uh, uh, that, that product uh, with a built-in feature to open the jar so you don't have to go to an outside product or we're asking those uh, the, those that are, are older or those with some sort of disability to try these 
uh, 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 ways where they're banging it on the table to try and open that when obviously, you know, uh, they're struggling to begin with. So I wouldn't want them to try and hurt themselves further by trying some of these uh, uh, ways to open the jars. Yet in the food industry or any other industry, you're really talking about pennies and mm -hmm. half penny differences. Uh, I, what are we talking about for your lid versus another lid? Are we talking, are you 10 times more expensive or two, twice more expensive? Uh, uh, no, I, I, uh, I'd say a few pennies higher than what the, uh, the average cost today for your commodity lid. Uh, and, and, and like I was saying, with our lid it being a premium product, you not only just receive the lid and the benefits of it, but also the PR plan that will help educate the consumer. So that's why, you know, and plus the, the over eight years of research and development uh, in order to make this lid work the way we want it to safely uh, uh, and perform at the, at the highest level, uh, we feel that it is a premium product and does uh, uh, um, uh, drive for a, a little bit higher price with all, everything that comes with uh, the added benefits as well as the PR plan that comes with the lid. Well, uh, how did you support yourself for those eight years? Uh, we are privately funded. Oh, okay. So, all right. So now uh, your website one more time. Uh, yeah, our website is easylid.com. That's E-E-A-S-Y-L-I-D.com. Okay. Now, now you can bring up your product and, uh, and show people how it works. Absolutely. Uh, so like I was discussing earlier, uh, on our lid uh, th for this product, uh, the, the, the lithography was needed. Uh, this is a lid that will be going out into the stores uh, and the Boyer's food markets or grocery stores uh, uh, later this year in September. So the consumer will simply use your thumb and I'll try and be quiet so we can hear it. Uh, you'll push the button until you hear it clicks, then you'll let off and that releases the vacuum and then you'll simply twist the lid off. So here I go, I'll press it open. Wow. And it was that simple. Now, a lot of people ask, do you have to push the button in order to open the jar lid? And we designed it so you didn't have to. It's just that added extra help if someone needs it. So I have another jar the same way and I'll just open it like I normally would. Wow. So I was able to open it. And again, that's uh, up to about 50% easier to open versus your standard jar lids on the market today. Well, I just try, uh, tried to open a, a, a jelly jar lid. Well, the question is, uh, the, does the effect go away if you, you store it for six months? Uh, no, uh, it, so the lid will work on any hot filled or, or vacuum product. Uh, uh, and again, uh, we, we through our tests and whatnot, we've actually had our, our lids uh, uh, in tests for three to four years uh, and they performed flawlessly. In addition to that, we've also had the easy lid whether it's the CT, the continuous thread version, or the lug version. Uh, uh, this is the lug version that I, I just showed that I just opened. Uh, we had both lids studied by Cornell University. So we wanted to make sure that, that we were, were following all the guidelines and all the rules and all the specifications that's required by uh, uh, packing hot filled products. Uh, so, so both versions of the lid has been uh, studied and tested and approved by Cornell University, uh, and as well as uh, we've also conducted a third party consumer tests where we compared the easy lid versus the standard lid and, 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 and both tests overwhelmingly 80 to 90 percent of the participants preferred opening the easy lid versus your standard jar lid. Well, you said there's two versions. What uh, explain the difference? Uh, uh, absolutely. So. So right now, this is the lug. So that's what you find on most of your pasta sauces, your pickles, those sorts of products. There's also the CT version. Um, sorry, let me grab a lid here. You know, the, the, the CT version is where it has uh, the threads all the way around. So you actually have to screw it onto the jar lid. Yes. Uh, you'll find that. Now that lid represents about 10 to 20% of the market where the lug lid that I was uh, had just opened represents 80 to 90% of the market of jars that's used uh, in the grocery store. Well, well the one that screws um, is usually something like mayonnaise. I always know that one is yeah. a screw, but yeah. uh, usually that, the, uh, how does that help preventing um, somebody uh, creating a, putting poison in like we had cases before? How does your, 
would help? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, great question. And, and again, we, we also agree that safety uh, is very important in our product. And so one of the things that we try to do, because we're asked that question a lot, you know, what happens if somebody tries to tamper with your product or push the button? Well, in reality, every product on the store shelf can be tampered with, it can be opened, it can be manipulated. So what we try to do is give as many visual tamper evident cues as possible so that the consumer can make that decision once they pick the jar up from the, the, the store shelf, whether that's with the safety ring that's also on our uh, easy lid, meaning so when the vacuum is pulled, the safety ring is down, just like your standard jar lids today. And when the vacuum has been released, the safety ring is up and the lid will flex just like a lot of the jar lids do today. On top of that, we also have the button, which would show some if you know if someone applied or didn't do it properly, they could deform or 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 damage the lid. So we, we knew we were just trying to give as many visual uh, evident cues uh, and education that we could, so consumers could make the, the the decision whether it was fresh or not fresh. Well, what do you mean by a lid? I'm sorry. You probably, um, oh, okay. You 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 mean the, the lid itself? Correct. Uh, but you said it goes up and down. How does it go up and down? So just like your safety rings on the market today, let me get the one that. So our safety ring. So if you went to the store shelf, I can, I know it's kind of hard to see, but you can actually flex that up and down. So that mm. shows that there's no vacuum where is it, if you used one that has not been opened yet, it would not flex up and down. Uh -huh. That's one visual uh, cue that would give the consumer uh, uh, the, 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 the uh, assurance that it is a safe product. Now, uh, a couple of years ago, we actually did a test at the Boyer's grocery stores with the CT lid on Darcy's pasta sauce, where for 16 weeks we had the product in the store and we compared it, uh, same price points, same uh, uh, same sales and all of that to another product that was on the shelf. And we, and we matched that. We had Damon Worldwide uh, conduct the study for us and, and, and figured out all the data and the numbers. And through that 16 weeks, we outsold the other product by 341% just because it had the easy lid, the easier opening lid on the jar. Um, we had a PR plan that when it initially started, we informed the community, the areas, the markets that where the easy lid, where these grocery stores were at. And from that point on, it went by word of mouth uh, and it spread like wildfire to the point where we actually ran out of product four times. We mm -hmm. could not keep the product on the store shelf. So, so you produce the lids uh, and send them to wherever the uh, f food manufacturer is. Correct. Yes. Uh, to the point. So with that being said, I do want to bring up with our lid being made out of aluminum, when we were making that decision, a lot of your fillers or the back end uh, 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 lines, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're filling the jars with a tin plate lid. So uh, in some instances they might move ma or use magnets to move the lid from the orienter, you know, where you dump the lids and then it'll be transferred over to the capping system. So what we have done is we've actually hired uh, two, two packaging experts that has over 70 years experience working with closures, lids, uh, and the filling lines. So that way, when a filler or a manufacturer, when they want to, to learn more and to potentially use our lid, we can give them a free diagnostic assessment to come in and run the, the easy lid down their line just to make sure that uh, there's no uh, uh, compatibility issues or or there's no thing or you know no issues that we need to to address some of the filling lines that we looked at we've had to make zero adjustments you know no new pieces parts uh, one of the lines that were you or that's the products that's coming out later this year we had to make small adjustments to his line and that's just making sure that when the lid is put on it doesn't press the button mm. so it was just kind of uh, adjusting his tooling a little bit uh, and there's other uh, uh, manufacturing lines that will have to take a deeper look. It all depends on the equipment uh, that is used uh, uh, and the transferring systems that, 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 that is helping transfer the lid from the, the hopper, the holding area, to then the capping system. But with that being said, we feel the benefits outweigh some of these initial adjustments or costs that, that, that someone might 
see or face. Um, you know, with it being made of aluminum right there in, in itself, we are now helping with the sustainability, um, you know, with it being a recyclable product. Uh, you know, now, you know, we, we all have the recycling, the aluminum uh, containers in our house. So now you're, you can simply take this lid and, and dispose of it in the recycling uh, uh, bin. Uh, you know, we know through, um, through the research and the data that more than two thirds of all the aluminum that's used right now is recycled. So there's less energy, less, less uh, things to make and, and remake the aluminum, whereas with the steel and the tin plate, you, you know, there's more, more energy, more, more production that it takes to make that. Um, on top of that, now you can look at the weight itself. You know, our, our easy lid is about half of the weight of your standard lid on, the si on different sizes. So this is a 63 millimeter. So it's roughly half the weight of a 10 plate 63 millimeter lid. So now you can start down weighting. Uh, you know, so if you have a, a, a semi truckload uh, of product, a pasta sauce with the easy lid, you're now saving gas and emissions because of its less weight or, or if it's a, uh, a container of lids, you know, now it's about half of the weight the container is of the aluminum lids versus the 10 plate lids. So there's a lot of benefits that the easy lid brings to a brand or to a product, not only in addition to helping those uh, open the jar up easier. Well, one question, um, um, products come in varying sizes. Do you mm -hmm. have varying sizes? And what's the smallest you can put uh, this uh, system on? Uh, great question. So right now we have designed our technology. Uh, we can uh, put our technology from a 58 millimeter to a 63 millimeter, 70, 82, 100, what could you 110. Well, for, look, is, uh, would, would grape check? Uh, Great uh, jelly be a, could, could you have one for that? Which is yes, a smaller so, so that, size? Would be, that would be your 63 millimeter size uh, uh, jar for your jams and jellies, your pasta sauces are, are typically a 63, maybe a 70. Your pickles uh, and other products like that are, are gonna be in the bigger lid, the 82. Um, right now, currently we are, we are only producing the 63 millimeter, but with plans to move forward, we had to start somewhere. Uh, and when we looked at the, the overall sales uh, in the grocery store market, uh, the 63 millimeter this size uh, that's on your pasta sauce uh, was, was the most used uh, in a grocery store. So that's why we started there. But we do have uh, plans and we are gonna be moving forward with the, the rest of the sizes here uh, uh, in the months to come. Well, let me ask you, what about tuna fish? The small, uh, uh, Right now, tuna fish is a seemingly an integrated can. Mm -hmm. Will you be able to do a tuna fish can? Uh, not a can itself, but if they if they had decided to move to a jar, then yes, we could we could then uh, uh, have the lid on on, on the tuna fish. Uh, any product that is vacuum sealed uh, can use uh, can use the easy lid. Okay, we only have two minutes left, uh, Brandon. Your website again for people. Uh, yeah, it's easylid.com, E-E-A-S-Y-L-I-D.com. There's a lot of great articles and a lot of great information on the website. And you can also contact uh, myself and, and other members of the team through our, through our website. Uh, if you have any products that you would like to learn more about, uh, possibly having the EasyLid uh, uh, used for them. Well, one other thing, can you, uh, are you limited in the colors that the lid can be? Uh, no, uh, right now, uh, any color uh, uh, can be uh, uh, obtained uh, uh, through, the, through our aluminum suppliers. Okay, so you have one minute now. What would you like to leave our audience with? Uh, I would just like to say, first of all, thank you for, for listening and learning about the Easy Lid. Uh, it is our goal to, to help those because uh, we all either know someone in our family or, or have a, a friend that struggles uh, with those daily uh, activities uh, uh, and simple activities of just trying to cook and make dinner. So if we can help take some of that stress and, and anxiety of trying to figure out how to open the jar or, or having someone open the jars for them and give some of that independence back, uh, then, then, we, then we've done our job. Uh, and so we're excited about this product. I know one day I'm going to need it. Uh, so I hope that, that it's there when, I, on the, when the day uh, that I need it uh, uh, to open the jars a little bit easier, that's for sure. Well, I hope so too, because I need it now. But, uh, <laughs> yes. 
But Brandon, thank you so much for being with us today. Yes, thank you so much uh, for having me on. It was uh, great to, to speak with you and, and to, to speak about the EasyLid.